this reading is is Ivana haunting the creature. I think there is justice being exacted upon him now because justice is running around rampant. I already told you that. Hmm. Unbelievable. So, let's see here. Ivana. Show us Trump. Trump. You and Trump. Now, Ivana, apparently she grew up very, very poor. Let me give you a little bit while I shuffle this. That's how I do my prayers. I pray and then I invoke the life of the person and who the person was. Not just what I know and if I don't like him, I just don't talk about what I don't like. I talk about their real, how they grew up, what drove them to be in a certain way. So Ivana grew up very poor in Czechoslovakia. And she was a very, very tall woman. She was at least six feet tall. And she used her height to become an Olympian. Her physicality to get out of poverty. So she's always had a good brain. You know what I'm saying? She's always had a good brain. Now I think the connection with the Pisces here is I'm a Cancer. I'm a water sign. The Pisces connection here is, for example, Cancers, we blame ourselves for everything. For everything we blame ourselves. Something happens bad. Oh, good, because I should have known. I did this. I should have known. It's my fault. That's how we are. This is how cancers are. Pisces, they're like, ay, that's what I get. I used to be so trusting. Ah, that's what I get. I used to be so trusting. Hmm, look now. Now I don't trust nobody. So Pisces, you know, they, they say they're, you know, they're, they're innocent and they were trusting and they got screwed right cancers are like hmm, i should have known i saw all the signs before they even came at me and i still gave people the benefit of the doubt so yeah my fault scorpios are like walking around like i'm just trying to do me you mess me over you f me over huh, i'm gonna come for you because i wasn't even going for you you did something to me the, the, this is the, the mentality of the water signs. So I think Ivana has some of that going on. She's telling me, look, I was too trusting. I was too trusting. She just tried to get herself out of poverty and try to have a good life. And she kept bumping into buttholes and buttholes and buttholes. I'm not saying this woman was innocent. Because it takes some, some sort of complicity of appeasement. They appease you with something. And you are complicit just to be appeased. So I'm not saying she was a white dove. I'm not a white dove. You're not a white dove. She's not a white dove. But this lady met this narcissist, the creature, a.k.a. Donald Trump, who was also a victim of his circumstances. I mean, he was a baby and his mother was in hospital, according to Mary Trump. And he never got the care he needed. So can you imagine being one, two, three, four years old and nobody caring for you if you're fa of your family? There's a lot of orphans out there that are really sweet. But some of them can't do it. Some of them can't take it. And they become narcissists. Or if they have a parent that's there, but it's not really a parent, it's more of an abuser. They become narcissists. So this lady, Ivana, ended up with this loony with this creature I heard a story that she, they went skiing when they were dating and she went down these slopes and she did amazing diamond black diamond whatever and everyone was like congratulating her whatever and, and they were like wow you're amazing and you know what the creature did Donald Trump he was like don't you ever do that to me again don't you ever embarrass me I'm the man I'm supposed to be number one because he couldn't do crap he wasn't athletic at all and she like totally outshone him. Who can outshine this man? If you outshine him, forget it. You're dead to him. You're dead to him. 
So she lived her whole life being dead to this guy, no matter what she did. Because no matter what she did, she was way better than him in everything. She was way better than him in any physicality. She was way better than him in business. And everyone that dealt with them knew she was better in business than him. She was better than him in every which way. Now, am I saying she's a white dove lady? No. But for the people she surrounded herself, she was... You know, not expecting them to do all that to her, to be so envious and threatened by her and, and, and opportunists of her fortune and her good graces and her good fortune and her money and everything. So now that she's gone, you know, she's just going to try to make things better. But is she is her presence alone enough to send these people off their edge? Because I don't think she's trying to harm anybody. But I think she's trying to communicate and that's enough for people that don't understand justice and people that don't understand blame and, and, and wanting to do things right. And that's enough. Do they think that she's haunting them and what is going on? La creature es el loco, el trompo, the Trump guy. This is how I do my read. Is he being, what is going on with him and Ivana? How is he receiving Ivana? How is he receiving her messages and her energy? How is the creature receiving the energy and messages? Ooh, after all that, I might need to take a break. But wait, let me just throw the first card here. Sorry. How is the creature, the situation with the creature, Ivana's passing and the energy coming through? King of Pentacles, Don Jr. That's what I got before. That's Don Jr., Boom. Ivana Trump is worried about Don Jr. Ivana Trump is worried about Don Jr. That's her main worry. King of Pentacles, her main worry. If you look here, you see these grapes? Grapes grow on vines and vi they make wine and wine is an intoxicator. He's, she's worried about his addiction and how the creature is making it worse. No one's there for him. He's alone. He's completely alone in his addiction. This covers it. So, okay, so I asked... How is Trump receiving it? First thing that pops up is Don Jr. So Don Jr. is also... Trump is being haunted by Don Jr. She's coming to him in dreams saying worried about Don Jr. And Don Jr. is also receiving dreams. This covers it. Knight of Pentacles. This is Eric. Holy cow, you guys. Same reading before. Knight of Pentacles. Eric is also a Capricorn. Don Jr. is a Capricorn. Eric is a Capricorn. Pentacles are Capricorns. Earth signs. Virgo. Taurus. Eric is the only one that's doing what he has to do. Don Jr. is here with the grapes. Living his horribly best life with whatever he's doing. Substances. This is for entertainment purposes only. But substances, Eric, on the other hand, who's younger, who's the knight, he's working day and night for those pentacles. He's the only one working. This is this covers the situation. The star. She wish again the lost. She wanted to give them something that she lost. She feels like she can't do for them. She couldn't do everything she wanted for them in life. This, this uh, crowns them the best that it can arrive at. The Six of Cups. The mother that she was. So the Six of Cups in the Rider weight is the two kids. Thinking about the past, right? This is in the Starwood Tarot, uh, Darkwood Tarot. This is... Um, 
the six of cups and is a mother crow feeding her nestling baby crows here with all these cups around it so I think what crowns her is she wish she could have been a better mother to them that's so sad she wishes she could be a better or have had been a better mother to them And because she couldn't, she's going to try to help them from beyond the grave. And she wants to remind them in her dreams. See the spider still webbing? She's still webbing. She wants to remind them of the good things she taught them. And of the love she gave them. And of the disciplines. Even the disciplines she gave them. This is beneath the situation, what it has, and it's its own king of cups. Who the hell? Here he is again. I think, I don't know what her husband, gigolo guy is. That's him. He's holding something up. I think he's, I think her ex-husband's either a Pisces, a Cancer, or Scorpio. Or a sailor. <laughs> or a navigate. I don't know. I think he's a water sign or a sailor. King of Cups. Oh no. This is in the last few days, weeks, months. The Haunting. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. Melania. Is this my Hold on. Let me, let me come back to that. Queen of Pentacles. The last few days, weeks, months. Ooh, I don't understand that. I got to come back. Oops, sorry. <sighs> oh, I got to come back to that. Hold on. Let me just throw them so you know that I'm not. And then I'll, I'll read them because I got to take a little bit of a break. It's too much. Ooh, wee. This is what she got the last time I did a reading for her. Holy cow. I'm going to put it up. Okay, I'll come back. Hold on, I just got to take a quick break. I just set him down so you know that I'm not. Some people, you know, are suspicious. Why would anybody be suspicious if you got a reading, you got a reading? It's more work to create some BS than it is to just read what you get. So, and for all of you that have been with me forever, you know, I have nothing to hide. Like, the, I, whatever I tell you in the tasas and the cards comes out, so I don't got to make, you know. But anyway, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. It's too much. It's too, too much. I'll come back to it. Okay, so now I'm back. Alrighty. So I spread it all out. Let me go back to the Queen of Pentacles. This was in the haunting. Past few days, weeks, months. I think she had a very close friend. So th this is my opinion, for entertainment purposes only. She had a friend, very close friend of hers, a very beautiful, luxurious lady of an earth sign, either um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, who she entrusted with some information to do with her wishes in writing her will. Who will invoke upcoming a lawyer friend of hers? Or a lawyer, either a lawyer friend of Ivana's or a lawyer friend of the, Ivana's friend. Who's going to cut right through the BS? So I said, so this is her, Ivana, her. She wants a lawyer. She wants a lawyer. I don't know what's going on. I thought she would be saying something like, I want to be get, get out of Bedminster. She wants, maybe she does. Maybe she wants to be with her family. But her, her you know, her parents, grandparents, that, that family. All I see is her trying to get her affairs that she couldn't resolve in order legally. In her home. 
the lovers. <laughs> Guys, we're going to be hearing about that guy that she that was her husband. Nobody liked that guy. What the heck did he do to her? That guy's going to get himself in legal trouble. That, whoever her ex-husband was going to get himself into, boyfriend, whatever the hell, I don't know, boyfriend, husband, lover, I don't know what the heck. Genitalia popping on a handstand guy is going to get himself in a lot of trouble. Hopes and fears that he might steal everything. That he might steal everything. But she was never completely, she always had a, even though she thought he might steal stuff, she had a backup plan. I don't know what her backup plan was. What the heck was her backup plan? We're going to find out about her backup plan. And what will come the sun. This is exactly like in my last reading. So she's going to be able to help her children. The spawns. Sorry, Ivana. I'm sorry. But your kids have proven to be douchey. But she's going to go come back to help them. I hope she helps little Baron too. Because poor Baron. But she's going to come back to help the kids. The children. And bring light to their lives. She's coming back to help the children. The Trump children. Hopefully Tiffany, Baron, everybody. And... I mean, I don't like the the other the big three spawns, you know, the giant spawns. Her her own, but I guess she's gonna help them. They're gonna be okay. Hopefully, everything will fall upon the creature. And wherever she is, whatever she's doing, she's very happy. She's happy and content and free. And she's not stuck in one place. To me, it seems like she's everywhere. Like she goes wherever she wants to go. And she could travel freely wherever she wants to travel. And she's gonna. She's not going to go away. She's going to be one of those souls like my grandma and my brothers and my dad. Who will always stick around to protect their loved ones until they cross over. She's going to continue to work here on earth. And I know a lot of people are like, why are you wasting your time with this lady? She, you know, she did this, she's evil, she did that. But I wanted to do this reading for someone that I'm not completely aligned to. This is my first reading on someone that's passed away. And it's someone that it's not someone that I completely align with and so this was my test this was my test and I think I passed the test when I failed the test is when I just say 100% evil 100% wrong that's when I know I failed the test when I'm able to be true to what I see I know I passed I know I passed and um this is the okay for me. I'm going to continue to do these readings. The sun. I asked myself too. Please let me know if this is okay for me to keep doing. If not, if you don't want me to intervene or want me to see. Because I know I have that. That I can see in, in there. If you don't want me to see. Let me know. And then the last card was like, see it all. And she gets to heal it all. So thank you. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you all. Thank you, guys, for your energy and your wonderful soul. And may you be continued to be protected and given health. Even if you're sick, may you be able to plow through the sickness and get through it. If you're heartbroken, if you lost someone that you truly loved, don't worry. Listen to that Izzo song. <laughs> you're going to be okay. 
flip your hair, look at your nails, and you feel hell of good. So we're going to be okay. All right, everybody. Big hugs. I'll see you soon. Bye.